understanding with this shit. Because I want to see the accountability after I put this picture up. Oh, God. All right. What if a, a man or a woman has too many friends of the opposite sex? Is that a red flag? Yeah. Go ahead, Eddie. 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 All right. Listen, how about if a man or a woman doesn't have a dad? Is that a red flag? Hell yes. yeah. Yes. Absolutely. 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 Hold on, hold on. Take niggas that didn't grow up with their father no more. Mm, hold on. Hold on. Eddie went first one time. Carrie Slim, you went first. B, if she don't have a father, is that a red flag? Um. Well, actually, believe it or not, I'm going to answer it this way. Um, I would say no, believe it or not. Um, I would say no. Um, there will be several. I mean, her not having a father in her life, how is that a red flag? I mean, believe it or not, that would be my take on it. I mean, how would that be a red flag? So, your answer is no, and how? Yeah, I mean, seriously, how would that be a red do you flag? Think, do you think that a woman knows how to love herself if a man doesn't love her first? I mean, I don't have enough experience in that category to answer that question. Um, do I think a woman could love herself if she's never had a man show her love first? I mean, I I just can't answer that. I, I don't know. I mean, so you're saying is maybe? Yeah, I mean, I I mean, I I, I mean, I all the women I know they've had fathers in their life. So for you to ask me, do I think a woman could if love herself if she didn't have a father in her life? I mean, I. I don't know. I mean, I that was you had to ask a woman who you would have to ask a woman who didn't have a father in her life that question. I just can't answer that question. I mean, I, let me go ahead and put. Uh, let me change your name to Alex, and then <laughs> I'm answering. The I don't know. I mean, I didn't give. Uh, okay. Uh, Q. I don't know. I mean, if uh, if the if the person you're dating doesn't have a father, is that a red flag? Absolutely. If they don't have a relationship with their father or their mother, then it's definitely a red flag. Well, father, 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 though. Or father. Well, yeah. There will be several things that play a factor into it. What if the father died? What if he went to war and got killed? I mean, I mean, we just don't know that we yeah. a red flag. I mean, there will be several. Well, I'm saying, all right, Camp, you're wanting me to. You need, you need, well, well, see, well, let me, let me. So if he died or whatever the case is, it doesn't negate the fact that they don't have a father. It does. It does. Well, yeah, it, it may it make life. it more traumatizing. Now, it's not to say he walked out, but they don't have that guidance in their life for whatever reason it is. What I found him was that it's more of an identity piece. Uh huh. So with that identity missing, that plays a part. Yeah. Yeah. So it does affect the interpersonal relationship. I, I was married to somebody who was an orphan. Mm -hmm. And even down to jealousy mm -hmm. of watching me and my mom interact became an issue because they were missing that. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So, yeah, I can agree with that to an extent because I have my sister's ex-husband. Um, They had a child together when they were living in New York. And mm -hmm. my sister's ex-husband, straight manly. They had a son, Anthony Jr., straight manly. And then he had a son... Anthony the third, and I watched how they all interacted together, and I grew a little jealous because they had that father. They had it was actually four generations, and they built everything in Brooklyn. And I saw how they all interacted with each other, and me not having that father figure in my life, I did get jealous. Um, so yeah, I, I can agree with that point. Yeah, I I can agree with that. Do you think that yeah, not I, having a father? has has given you some deficiencies um absolutely absolutely not having that male figure in the household mm -hmm. i i would say my i would say my only issue though would be confidence i would with women i would say that but That's in terms ridiculous. of everything else i think i turned out just fine but i would say mm -hmm. in terms of confidence yeah um so if yeah, a, if a man so okay, so let's take that though. Let's okay, all right. So yeah, so if we okay, no, 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 don't answer yet. You you already fucked up your chance to answer, but we're gonna use that part. So Carrie, if a man approaches you and lacks confidence, what happens next? Um, I'm not I'm not attracted to him as much, or 
I'm just not gonna take him seriously. If he lacks confidence, I'm I'm attracted to men who are confident. So that for me, I just wouldn't be as attracted to him. So B, take now now go ahead. Give us what so where are you at now in your thought process? Oh no, um just the same exact same way that I was, um, you know, before you um switched over to Carrie. Um yeah, now could we take that and incorporate that with a woman? We could, I guess, in that case, incorporate that with a woman. Uh okay, it's making more sense now. Okay. Um yeah, I, I can see it now from that perspective. Okay. Ponder that. Ponder that for a second. Okay. Eddie. Yep. She don't have a dad. Uh it's a huge thing. Um, I grew up in a two parent household. Almost all of my family, um, all marriages, 30, 35, 40. My parents just celebrated 37 years. So in regards to like, uh, feminine energy in my life, I have that right through my mother, aunts, grandmother, all of that, right? Um, but in terms of having a solidified man in the house, I've always had that, right? My father, uncles, et cetera, right? Um, I noticed a dramatic changed when I went to college, um, particularly when I became an RA. And I noticed all the young men that were coming in after me who didn't have fathers, I noticed particular mental blocks missing, right? Um, back to Kerry's point in regards to confidence, huge thing, right? Um, I was 11, 12 years old when my mom decided not to do stuff for us anymore. So I'm doing my laundry, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, all of that stuff, right? um reinforced that by my dad when we didn't do stuff right it wasn't always a spanking it came with a conversation it came with guidance right um as an educator prior to becoming a chef you know being in schools 12 years what does that look like for you know girls not having their dad right um you're, you're looking at not having someone steer you in the right direction in regards to how you filter men right you also don't have you know the stoic masculinity that you would look forward to in terms of protection, right? Women always talking about protection, right? Always look, talk, looking for a man with guidance, right? A man that could teach them something, right? Um, have, you know me more than anybody in here, like being a learned man, right? A man that reads books, right? A man that has critical analysis, right? A man that keeps himself in shape, you know, smells the right way, right? Dresses the right way, right? Knows how to tie a tie, knows how to tie his shoes, all these good things, right? Um, you're missing a huge piece that's not there, right? And to B's point earlier, it may not be your fault that dad wasn't around, right? It may not be that he didn't want to be around. So those things happen. But in regards to, you know, the, the strong character that builds young men and young women, the father has a huge component to do with that, right? A la why, you know, the black community looks the way it does, right? A la why, you know, <laughs> dating amongst um, black people looks the way it does. And this it's a fake war, but it's taking over our minds. This, you know, black men versus black women thing. That huge components of fatherhood and masculinity is largely missing. So we have what we have now. But yeah. like I said, I'm single and I'm ready to love. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex, if he don't have a daddy, is that a red flag? Um, no. And I think I'm just speaking because I didn't grow up with my father around. And then although my husband's parents were married, he was always away. Um, and then they split up. Um, but I will say there's definitely a difference from my experience in dealing with the man who had both parents in the household versus the guys that I've dealt with that were raised by a single mother. There was a huge, huge, huge difference. And um, that, like negatively? Um... Yeah, I think just, I feel like men and women handle things very differently. Um, I'll even say when it comes down to, um, just from my perspective, the individual that I was with and he had his dad, like he, women, we will we will go back and forth. As you say, I tiptoe, I'm windshield wipe or whatever. But men, I feel like who have other men present, like naturally, I just feel like they're not going to sit there. They're not going to go back and forth with you. They'll speak when they absolutely need to speak. However, the males that I have dealt with who were the woman was the more dominant figure in their life, they will go back and forth with you. And I remember catching myself being like, yo, you sound like your mom. <laughs> like, you sound like your mom. 
So we both cannot be, and it's not, and I don't think it was to take any way, anything away from him, but that's the energy that he was around. You know, mm-hmm. he never had the male figure to be like, you know what, you just going to walk away. So, so Alex, so if you were coaching women, would you bring, and they asked you this, what would you tell them? If I was what? Coaching women, right? Because you married and shit, so you can answer however you want. It don't fucking matter, right? Because you you gave an answer, but then your examples kind of contradicted a little bit. So if you just tell women like, "Hey, this nigga don't have a dad. This nigga does. They got the same qualities." Like, how would you break it down for single women? I think. So I guess okay. So when I'm answering the question, is it a red flag to me? No, and I can't, and I can't make it a red flag because I also didn't have my father growing around, growing up, right? But that didn't make me um, inadequate. But what I was saying was that from my perspective, I I can see the differences. Now the person who did have the two parents in the household, he was an ain't shit nigga, regardless of if his dad being there. But I will say that in that relationship, I personally mm-hmm. definitely learned like, okay, you know what. He should be opening the door. He should be doing certain. There are just certain things that he should do because he saw that versus someone who didn't. It was just kind of like I I didn't know any better. So if a single woman were asking me, I wouldn't tell her like it's a red flag. Don't don't deal with him. But just understand that, you know, your interactions with him are going to be a little bit different. And I would say to have a little bit of grace. Okay, All right. That's fair, I guess. Carrie. If he don't have a dad, um, by the way, Eddie has a, a dad, just so you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Good noted. laughs> um, at first, you know, uh, that wasn't something that would be a red flag to me previous, but dating men who have had fathers versus who did not, there is a vast difference. Um, as far as men who have fathers, I feel like they kind of naturally know how to lead, you know? They are um, a little, they do have kind of more confidence and they're able to uh, take on that role as a man with a woman, as far as leading. I felt that when I was in a relationship with a man who did not have, his father was present, but he wasn't there. You know what I mean? Like his father wasn't, didn't pass away. His father basically left and started another family he had a lot of resentment towards his dad. I felt like I dealt with a lot of emotional issues from him due to that. And also because his mom was the leader of the household, he expected me to lead. So I was very frustrated with him a lot because I was making a lot of the decisions. I was doing a lot of leading. And I'm like, I need you to do this. But he's so used to his mom doing it. And she would also like where I wouldn't step up and do, she would step in and do versus I feel like if his father was there, he'd be like, no, you need to do this. You know, so he didn't really have, he was raised by all women, his grandmother, his aunts, his mom. And so he was used to women running the household. So that, and I have my father in my life. So, and I have an older brother. So I'm used to seeing men lead and I want to be led, but he, you know, so we would clash a lot because I didn't, when because of my resentment of me having to lead i also didn't have a lot of respect for him because that's what i wanted and desired for my mate so um Mm -hmm. yeah now because i've been through that and um versus dating someone who did have a father or male in their in their life helping helping guide them i would prefer to be with a man that has that male figure in their life, whether it's their father, their stepfather, their uncle, there needs to be someone present helping helping guide them. And that is actually a question I ask during dating. Like, who who do you, who is your guidance? Who do you go to when you're having problems? Who helps you make your decisions when you have questions and making decisions in life and your relationships? And if they, if they just say their mom, that's a red flag to me. <laughs> mm. That's a huge red flag. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, def. Adrian, did you answer? Um, I think so. What did I you say? I don't know. What the fuck? What did you say? Um, yeah, red flag is in stop and assess because women respond differently to whether they have a father um in their life or not, but it definitely impacts them. It's just like it impacts a man too. 
So, so you don't you don't look at red flags as exclusion. You look at it like okay, right. I look at it stopping and set. Right. I think people miss out on a lot of good people because the things that y'all will not give somebody a chance because of is causing people to just miss out on a lot of good people who otherwise would be aligned. And I know the older I have gotten, um, I've just learned that things that you think are important ultimately are not that important at all. So mm-hmm. stop and assess definitely, but don't just rule out because of something, right? H- have your preferences, but then ask yourself, me having these specific preferences, how has that worked out for me? And what is those preferences going to look like 10 years from now, right? Like, will it even kind of matter? Especially if you're looking for somebody who you're going to want to be with for the rest of your life. So yeah, mm-hmm. it may be a bigger issue now. How would that look down the road? Would that possibly be that big of a deal? Okay, possibly not. Let me at least still continue to get to know. I'm not saying jump all the way on in, but again, just look at how it impacts their life. I'd yeah. also add, um, and Carrie mentioned this, even if you, as a woman, if you didn't have a dad in your life or a consistent masculine energy, um, and it may come off a little bit confusing, women somehow can recognize it though. And the ladies can speak to that, right? Y'all can recognize it when you're around a man and you don't have to say things in a particular way or remind him of things. It's just like, whoa, like I haven't had this before, but it feels comfortable. It feels convenient. And I feel protected, right? I go back to the word protected, right? So even if that, again, masculine energy wasn't there, once you're in the presence of it, you could rest in your femininity. It's just like, oh shit, like I haven't experienced this before. This this is maybe what it should be like. So yeah. We out.